All right. Well, I can hardly be... I didn't actually ever believe I'd say this, but I'm going to. This is your question <laughs> for a million pounds. Which of these UK Prime Ministers never served as Foreign Secretary? Winston Churchill, Alec Douglas Hume, Anthony Eden, Harold Macmillan. See, if it were slightly different options, I'd be a bit happier. I was hoping they would have, like, James Callaghan, because I know that he did. <sighs> Churchill... I think Churchill did. Churchill served as First Lord of the Admiralty. I'm pretty sure he was also Foreign Secretary before he was Prime Minister. Alec Douglas Hume, I don't know much about. Um, other than his reign as Prime Minister was pretty short. Um, Eden. See, Eden was Prime Minister after Attlee. Um, so he wouldn't have served as Foreign Secretary during Attlee's tenure because Attlee was Labour and Eden was Conservative. Um, but he might have served earlier. I think Macmillan was Foreign Secretary for a while. I think it's probably between B and C, but to be honest, I'm not prepared to risk how much 400 and. Whatever 36,000. Exactly. Um, so much is at stake. Yeah. I think it would take several years of teaching to take £500,000 home. Um, so I think I'm going to take the money, final answer. I can't, I can't blame you. What a player. What a fabulous player. Oh, well, really, honestly, yeah, that's a, well done. That was, that was incredible. John is going home with half a million pounds. <laughs> so, um, there's, there's a lot you can do with that. Yeah. There really is a lot you can do with that. I mean, it really does set you up, which is tremendous. Before you go, I have to ask... I mean, I know you don't really care. <laughs> <laughs> But if you had, you were saying between B and C, between uh, Douglas Hume and Eden, which one, um, which of the four would you have gone for? I would say Eden. If you'd have said Eden, you'd be going home with 64 grand. Right. <laughs> the correct answer oh, was, was in fact okay. Winston Churchill. Fair enough. But there we are. Who cares? Who cares a less Not whether me. Winston Churchill <laughs> was Foreign Secretary or not? Because. This has been a fantastic evening. Thank you. It's been an enormous pleasure having you. Pleasure Ladies and gentlemen, you. John Robinson. <laughs> that was extraordinary. This is it. And you okay. still have a phone of friends. Uh, yeah, still got a phone of friends. Shall we have a look at the question? Go on. Right, this is for one million pounds. Somebody's just fainted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's okay, it wasn't David, but it might be me in a minute. Yeah. Which of these people was born in the same year as Queen Elizabeth II? Audrey Hepburn, Judy Garland, Julie Andrews, or Marilyn Monroe? Right. Um, Queen Elizabeth II was born in 1926. Judy Garland made The Wizard of Oz. And didn't she have to be sort of strapped 
round because she was older than she was supposed to look. So she must have been maybe 15, 16, something like that then. So I'm not, it's not Judy Garland. Right, hmm, oh, I don't know with the others really. I'm not quite sure how I can work it out. Must be nerve wracking, because of course you stand to lose 436,000 yeah. pounds. Right, Marilyn Monroe. So mid 50s, wasn't she? Was making films. So she must have been. Yeah, something like it was late 50s, wasn't it? So let's say she was mid 20s then. That puts about, about 1930, so it might be a bit late. Julie Andrews, Sound of Music, 1964. How old is Julie Andrews then? She didn't look 40, did she? 38, 40. Audrey Hepburn. And she was making films in the films in the 1950s, wasn't she? Um, I haven't got anything to lose. I'll, I'll phone a friend, I think. Is it Cecil B. DeMille? <laughs> Is it someone who knows something about movies? I'm trying to think who, which of them might know this better. Um, I'll phone Terry. Would you like me to tell Terry where you are? Um, no, don't, don't say that. It might put him off. Okie doke. Uh, can we phone Terry, please? Hello? Hi, Terry? Yes? Jeremy Clarkson here from Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Hello, Jeremy. Hi there, how are you? Fine, how are you? Good, very well. Now, as I'm sure you know, we, uh, we have David here. Uh, he's doing mm -hmm. OK. But he's, he's stuck on a question and he needs your help. I just need to check. You do have someone from our uh, office there making sure that, that you're not online or looking at a book or anything? No, he's here. He's watching me there. OK, excellent. Right, um, David, I'm going to um, hand it over to you uh, shortly, and you're going to have 30 seconds to read out the question and the four possible answers, leaving enough time at the end for, um, for Terry to have a think. OK? OK. Right, your time starts now. Sorry, which of these people was born the same year as Queen Elizabeth II? That would be in 1926. Audrey Hepburn, Judy Garland, Julie Andrews, Marilyn Monroe. Audrey Hepburn, Judy Garland, Julie Andrews, Marilyn Monroe. Which was born in 1926? Uh, 1926. Ten seconds. Uh, I don't know for sure, David, but I guess Judy Garland, but I don't know for sure. OK, thanks, thanks Terry. Cheers, David. Bye. Right. Um, yeah, I, well, when I was working out, I thought maybe Audrey Hepburn might be more likely. But I, he didn't know. I don't know. I'm going to walk away with the money. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, final answer. Um, I'm walking away with the money. I actually can't say I blame you. Yeah. <laughs> um, I wish you had gone for it, obviously. I'm sure everybody watching at home uh, wishes. Um, well, there's no other way of saying this. David Fear from Carnarvon, you're going away with half a million pounds. Well done. Well done. Um, um, I really hope you enjoyed Canada. I hope you enjoyed Tanzania and Rwanda and Buindi and all of those places. But you're not going just yet. We have to know. Well, yeah, you exactly. have to know. Yeah. If you'd have given me an answer, what would it have been? It'd have been Audrey Hepburn, I think. You'd have lost 436,000 yeah, uh, pounds. I couldn't have risked that. Marilyn Monroe. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. So, uh, as you said, uh, Elizabeth II, born in 1926, as was Marilyn Monroe. Um, Hepburn was 1929. Garland, 1922. Julie Andrews, 1935. But it has been an enormous pleasure. Yeah. I'm sure everybody would, uh, would agree with me on that. Ladies and gentlemen, David Fear! Yeah. Well done. Well done, you. Yeah.